It's a red belly black shedding its skin. See that she's nearly got it off her head, but got a little bit caught in the bottom jaw. You can see she steps out of it. Got the head bit off. She's a happy little camper. There's pushing away through the grass, and there's nothing better looking. Oh no, not nothing. Diamond pythons and red bellies when they're freshly shed. I've got to be like seeing Santa come down the chimney. I guess they're bloody good looking. I think it's the black colour on a snake that makes it look so good. And you can see the, the tail part there and it's disappearing in nicely. And I'll pull back so you can see the whole kit and caboodle. There's her weaseling away through the grass, doing her thing. Skin coming off. Little old lady walks out in the backyard, sees the skin, has kittens, calls me. I pay the rent. That's life in Tony Harrison's world. The fact of the matter is, this snake's not sitting there going, <laughs> I'm going to scare these humans, it's going alright. I've grown a little bit, it's time to get out of this old skin. Now let's go hunt me some frog. No more, no less. A lot of people see brown coloured skins in their backyard and think, uh oh, I've got a brown snake. Now the skin is made out of keratin. 99.9% .9 of snakes, regardless of their colour when they shed, it comes off brown. But the red belly black, you can see the skin has a little bit of a, oh, let's say, gunmetal grey hue about it. So you can quite distinctly tell a red belly black skin from anything else. to the last little bit. Dunk. There's a freshly repainted red belly. There's an old school skin. Oh no, she took it a little bit on her head. Girl. Don't give me a nip. That's me. Don't get sure, you know, flattening out the head business, please.